Congratulations, Erica Slezak. On March 17th, Erica Slezak celebrated her 40th anniversary as Victoria Lord Davidson on One Life to Live. Here's to you, Erica. To ABC Daytime. Oh, silly, we're safe. I just checked with the staff up at the main house. As far as Vicky and everybody else knows, we never even left town last night, much less got married in Vegas. Dina, never say the M word, okay? Even uh, when we're alone, all right? Well, we got a little problem. Cord followed us to Vegas, remember? He knows we're, you're only pretending to be my brother. If he finds out why you're pretending... He won't, he... okay? Tina, he can't. We've got to keep Cord from going public or else... He... Oh, God, I knew somebody was going to find out. Oh, Jeff, relax. That's probably CJ and Sarah wanting you to build them a snowman, I bet. Cord. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. I was just about to come look for you. Oh, good. Well, then it looks like I saved you a little trouble. I thought you might want to tag along when I tell Vicky about your marrying brother David. We just wanted to let Vicky know that we were thinking about her, about all of you, and we know that this is a very sad time for all of you. Yeah, especially Mom. She's been up all night. I saw the light underneath her door, and I could hear her pacing. Well, that's only natural, Jess. Um, when somebody loves someone the, the way your mom loves Sloan, Jess, what is it, honey? I'm worried about her. I mean, ever since Sloan died, she's been different. Not just sad, different. Yeah. Like she's sick inside or something. Sweetheart, grief does that to a person. No, you don't understand. It's something else deep down inside, and she won't tell me what it is. Forget about her, Victor. I'm here now. I'm all you ever needed. Stay out of this, Irene. Go away! Why, Vicky? We love each other. There's no room for you here now. Take your hands off my father! It's too late, darling. You've already lost your father.
Why do I keep having the same horrible dream over and over again? Why? <sighs> One Life to Live, brought to you by... Uh, yes, hello, this is uh, Victoria Carpenter speaking. Uh, may I speak with Dr. Wolick, please? W well, no, I mean, it's not an emergency. It's, it's, uh, it's important, though. And... Thanks. Oh, my God, it's after 10 o'clock. I have to get up. I have to go and... Larry? Oh, hi, yeah. No, no, I mean, I told you, nurse, it wasn't serious. It's, uh... Well, I mean, I'd, I'd kind of like to talk to you about, uh... About a personal... Personal matter. That's all. Do you think that, uh, You could pay a house call on an old friend? Cord, you can't do that to, to Vicky. To you, you mean? Cord, look, you are not... You're not the only person that cares about Vicky here, okay? Am I talking to you? I don't remember talking to you. No, she's my sister and I love her. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you jumped in the sack with your brother. He's not my brother. I know what he's not, Tina, but I do know what he is. He's a liar and a fake and Vicky deserves to know about it. Now, if you want to pretend that this man loves you, that he cares about you, that he's going to look out for you and not try to get something out of your family, fine, Tina, you believe that. You throw your life away, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let you do that to our kids again or to Vicky. Look, Court, you are way out of line I'm going to kill okay? the five and then I'm going to drop you. Fine, fan I may have bent the truth a little bit here and there, all right? But my love for Tina is the real thing. Okay, and anybody stop that says it. Any... Just stay. Stop. Look, David... Court has every right to be suspicious. He, he just doesn't know you like I know you. And Court, hey, can you and I go somewhere? Somewhere really quiet, just you and me? There's a lot of things you just don't know about. What do you say? No, Tina, I, I, don't, I don't want you talking to him. All right, Tina. I'd actually like to hear what you've got to say. But I gotta tell you, I don't believe you're capable of telling the truth anymore. Just go get the car and I'll be right out, okay? You said we have to keep him quiet. Maybe if we tell him, that way he won't find out Tina, who's somebody else. if we tell else. him the truth, he will twist it. Oh, God. Look, as soon as you tell him I had to lie about being your brother, Tina, he's going to find out about the 27 million from Victor's estate. So I won't tell him about the money then. Tina, he, what if he tries to trick it out of you? He was married to you three times, Tina. He knows how to push your buttons. He won't. We'll just... We'll just tell him what you and I worked out, just to cover all the white lies, okay? What if he doesn't buy it? He will! I know how to push his buttons, too, oh, you know. God. And as far as him turning me against you, honey, that could never happen. You and I will just oh. always look for you. Oh, th that's him. I could go. Well, well, just, no, wait. No, I, I love you. Just trust me, okay? Mm. Tina, I do trust you. Hello? Why, David, I caught you in. What a surprise. I thought you'd have your money by now and be on your way to the Costa del Sol. Uh, there's been a slight change of plans. I don't like changes, especially when they affect the quality of my life. Look, Dorian, I do not want to talk about this on the phone, okay? I'll, I'll come over, I'll explain the whole thing to you. You better. Great, David. Out of the frying pan, right into the fire. Oh? Laura! Nobody told me you were here. It, it's my fault. Oh, it's like nobody's me. fault. We didn't want to disturb you. Disturb me? Gracious, but... Uh, 
I've been up for hours. I've just been upstairs sort of puddling around, that's all. Oh, my, what beautiful flowers. They're for you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Jesse, honey, I, I know you don't have any school today, but didn't you have some big test you were going to study for? It's just biology. I'll stay here with you. Just biology? I think you'd be better off to go over to your friend Annie's and study the way you were going to. I'm all right, sweetheart. Really, I am. Okay? Do it for me. Okay. I'll go. My Uncle Bo, Laura. Good Bye, morning, Jess. Carol. Oh, she's lovely. Yes, thank you, she is. I guess I have to work on her entertaining skills. She didn't offer you coffee or anything? No, no, Vicky, oh. we just wanted to be here for you, that's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's lovely. We were sorry that we weren't able to be here. Oh, no, that's okay, that's okay. You had to be in Chicago, didn't you? You know, I, I looked at the banner this morning, actually. Apparently, you did one whale of a job for Hank. Well, that was just uh, Nora's brilliant legal work. Oh, it wasn't it was Bo's brilliant detective work. Oh, good. It was the two of you, then. You did it together. Well, that's the way it should be. People should work together. Um, you know, these flowers, I think they'd look so lovely in that small table in the foyer. I'll be right back. Vicki, I'm gonna miss Sloan, too. I love my life. You remember? When I lost Sarah and I thought there was nothing else to live for, Sloan crawled out on that ledge to help me. He risked his life to save mine. He's quite a guy. Yes, he was. Excuse me. And he loved you, Vicky. I know that. He absolutely adored you, and it's only natural that you feel lost and lonely without Sloan now. I know, I know, I know. Vicky, is there something else? Is there something you're not telling me? Uh, no. No. No, there's nothing else. Thank you for being so understanding. Listen, divorce or no divorce, your family to me, and you always will be. You expecting more visitors? There's some strange man out here who says he's the family doctor. Oh, funny, funny, funny. <laughs> Vicki, I told Nora if she wouldn't mind getting her errant roommate out of the way, uh, I could visit with my favorite patient. You don't mind, do you, Commissioner? <laughs> Not a bit. No, Red and I were just leaving anyway. Okay. Vicki, if you need anything at all, I want you to call me. I'll do that. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah. very much. Thanks, Nora. Bye. Bye-bye. Take good care of her, Larry. Yeah. yeah. I'll do my best. Called me, wanted me to come over. Why? Larry, I need help. Look, Court. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Look, I know you're confused and upset. Upset? Why should I be upset, Tina, just because the mother of my children runs off and marries a man who's pretending to be her brother? Shh, please. I wish you hadn't found out that way. But that secret has to stay just that, a secret. Look, if you think I'm going to keep this dirty little secret... You have forget, to! I don't have to do anything, Tina. Not unless you can convince me that this David Vickers is not going to ruin your life. Or our children's. Don't. Just... Don't, okay? Just get... Let me explain. Do you have the money, or don't you? No, not yet. 
That's not the answer I wanted to hear. There was an unexpected complication. What is it? Dorian, I've, I've got a whole lot to tell you, and you're not going to like most of it, so why don't I start with the good news? Tina and I got married last night. Larry, ever since Sloan died, there's something different about me. It's like I'm I'm cut off. I'm I'm removed from myself. I mean, you know me as well as anyone. Am I wrong? No. Look, I, I expected there to be periods of lethargy and even depression. And yes, you seem to have a pretty severe anxiety going, Vicky. Can you help me? I mean medication? Unless you're talking about physical symptoms, but really I think. The best thing for you to do is talk to a psychiatrist. I have dreams. What kind of dreams? They're very upsetting and disturbing. I have this one dream. It keeps coming back over and over again. And when I wake up, I'm in such a panic. And I'm so afraid. Afraid of what? I'm afraid of the past. I'm afraid of the times that I used to lose control. You know, when something else would take over. Larry, you know what I'm talking about. I'm afraid if the dreams don't stop, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm terrified that I'm going to lose it altogether. The dream is, is basically always the same. I was standing at the top of the staircase with Sloan on the landing, and we're fighting. And then he pushes me, and I fall. And I fall all the way down the stairs. And I hear la laughing. And then when I look up, Sloan is not there anymore. It was my father. And he's laughing at me, and Dorian is standing next to him, and then she's laughing at me, hey, too. Honey, with honey, take it easy. You don't have to tell me all these details. Boy, I can't even forget them. <laughs> you know, some people have to write their dreams down. These are burned in my memory. Anyway, then, Irene is there with Father. And she looks exactly like Tina. And he's got his hands all over her. And I go and I try and separate them. And then, and then, then Dorian is there. And I get so mad at her, I want to kill her, and I try to kill her. But then when I look, it's not Dorian that I killed. It's my father. You know, I think I can understand some of this. <clears throat> Who has been your nemesis all these years? Dorian, right, right. I guess. Yeah. So, isn't it logical that, that Dorian would crop up into your dreams somehow? But I murdered my father! But, but you're... The, see, dreams aren't logical, Vicky. And remember this. Your father is the one who was dead, not Dorian. The emotional memories are somehow merged together, that's all. But Larry, why do these dreams make me so afraid? Cord, I... Okay, this has to stay completely confidential, all right? David did come to Landview and pretend to be part of the family for his own selfish reasons. It's a big surprise for some get-rich-quick scheme, right? Yeah. yeah, but he got to know me and the family and everybody, Vicky, and he started to care about his family. His make-believe family, Tina. No, one thing wasn't make-believe, how he felt about me. Yeah. That's how I knew he loved me. He told me the truth. I was furious with him. I told him I didn't want to see him again, but the problem was I fell in love with him, too. Oh, naturally. So you just up and forgave him just like that. On the condition he told Vicky everything he told me. He had already renounced all claims to Vicky's money, and this would be a whole new start. But then Sloane took a turn for the worse, and Joey got involved with Dorian, and you know how hard that's been on Vicky. In no way can we dump this on her now. Everything I've been telling you is the truth, Cord. You do believe me, don't you? I would like to believe you, Tina. But I've got this gut instinct that keeps telling me that there is something more to this story, something that maybe you don't even know about. There isn't. Are you sure, Tina? 
can you look me in the eye and can you honestly tell me that there is nothing illegal about what is going on with you and David? Idiot! You run off to Las Vegas, you marry that airhead and you call it good news? I told you there was a problem. After I answered all their stupid questions, the bank had one more surprise for me. A blood test. I don't believe it. Yeah, well, neither did I till they trotted out the nurse and the needle. And since you are not Victor's bastard, what did you do? You know, you've got a real way with words, you know that? What do you think I did? I told them I couldn't stand the sight of blood and got out of there before they could prove I was a phony. Now, do you get it? I'm never going to inherit all those millions, but Tina can. If Victor's son doesn't show up to collect the money, it reverts to Tina, my new bride. I hate to burst your dreams of a joint bank account, but Tina is never going to claim a dime of that money. Of course she will. Todd Manning doesn't even know he's the real heir. He's not going to stop her. He won't have to, because I will. Mm -hmm.